here in Las Vegas for UFC 296 Media Day with Bryce Mitchell, who, like a week and a half ago, you weren't even going to be on this card, Bryce. Uh, what were you doing when you took this fight against Josh Emmett when you, when you agreed to it? What were you doing? I was doing construction. I was 20 foot up on a ladder, and when you're 20 foot up in the air running power tools, you feel really confident. And so, I mean, I, I said yes pretty quick. I didn't even get off the ladder. <laughs> This is the reason why I wanted to ask you that, because I think most fighters have been like, oh, I was on the couch, I was watching TV. I knew you would have been doing something like outdoors, and you were. I was building a barn, yes, sir. I've got, I've got to have a barn to park equipment in, because, you know, if you don't park equipment, it's going to get rained and snowed on, the sun's going to beat it down. So that's what I was doing, building a pole barn. Okay, so the barn is going to take a backseat, at least this week. And Josh Emmett will be on. Will be, will be the person you're focusing on. Yes, right now I'm worried about Josh Emmett. That barn's not going to... Uh, knock me out you know so that, that's what i'm worried about the guy who's trying to knock me out hopefully not hopefully not because you I have had equipment issues in the past we know that yes uh well <laughs> you know what Let, i'll just say this you could die building a barn i 100%. will say that you, i probably would die building a barn <laughs> i'm a city slicker bro yeah. so i would probably die building a barn barn i mean you come to arkansas dude we'll, we'll take you out there to the country and i'll show you how to build a barn all bro. right you that, know what would you use that's a good yes we'll video. start with this what wood do you use i had, couldn't even tell you oak Cedar. Cedar. See, now, oak is great, but oak exposed to the elements, it deteriorates. Look cedar does not deteriorate to the elements. Look at this. It, it's I'm the most. education here. Well, cedar is the most preserved wood that there is, so you can put cedar outside. It'll, it'll outlast oak, even though oak is stronger. Okay. And actually, you know what? Oak is very, because I, I built part of my house out of oak. So I, was, so I was partially right. I, do well, I get, like, partial credit for that? Oak is amazing. Oak is the hardest. All right. Oak is the go. hardest wood that there is. And uh, oak is oak is so hard that it's hard to work with. It's actually hard hmm. to put screws through it. It's hard to saw it. It's it's hard on your blades. Uh, okay. People don't realize like if you go to Lowe's and you get pine, you cut through it. Yeah, I mean I could I could punch a two by four and break it. You punch an oak two by four, you're gonna break your hand. All right, fair enough. Okay, speaking of punching things, you have this fight against Josh Emmett. He's gonna be trying to punch you and vice versa on Saturday. Uh, he's a dangerous guy. You know he is a knockout artist, uh, and you're taking this fight on short notice. How do you even prepare in that short amount of time for a guy like him? Shoot, you just start praying, and that's about all you can do in 10 days. You know, my, my head right there, that's hard as oak. So if I can get him to punch here, we're good. But if he punches up in here, it's not going to be pretty, you know. If you win this fight, you know, he's a guy that was just an interim title fight just a, a couple of fights ago. Where does that put you in the division? Shoot, you know, I really can't make those kinds of calls but in my opinion it puts me right up there at the top what will happen i don't know i might have to take a fight backwards in rank i've never really complained about anything any matchups they've given me i've always took the matchups i've always been happy i've always been grateful and so um maybe they'll give me a higher ranked opponent after this after a win well if you do win it'll be two in a row because you just had that really nice win against danny gay a few months ago this is on short notice i get a little credit for that right you know two wins in a row back in that contender mix, right? You have to be. I, I think so, and I also add something new to the division because, um, you know, we've, like, the legend Max Holloway, the legend um, Bulk, you know, these guys have been around for a long, long time, and I think people do, uh, people would watch somebody like me because I'm new, and they want to see what I'm capable of. What, uh, as far as, like, Josh Emmett, he was also preparing for a kind of a different style than you are. You know, because uh, his previous opponent was a, more of a striker, mm -hmm. and you're more of a grappler. I know you can strike as well, but mm -hmm. disadvantage for him in some ways, and maybe an advantage for you. Right? Yeah. There's, you know, I think I have the advantage, but um, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it, an advantage for you because he was not preparing for a grappler of your caliber. And also, I don't have a lot of injuries coming in in this fight. I feel really fresh and really good. So a lot of times when you're training six weeks or six months for a particular opponent, not only is it like this sense of uh, just like hurry up I want this to be done type of thing uh, builds up in your head um, you know you also get injured so this is really refreshing and I'm really enjoying it because I, I'm, I'm getting paid more to train less <laughs> fair enough <laughs> last thing I wanted to get your I want to kind of pick your brain on this one you fought Elias Taporia already yes. he has this big fight of course for the title against Volkanovski in a couple months how do you see that fight playing out I see that fight is um, Volk going out there and landing, landing some good shots, um, but the defense of Taporia keeping him alive and, and countering back with a lot of speed. And um, I see Volk edging him on points, but I, I don't see Volk finishing him, um, but I could be wrong. But if Volk had a ground game where he could hurt him and then take him down, I would say, hey, that, that'd be a clear path to victory. But 
Um, it's going to be hard for him to finish Ilya because he conserves his energy. He's got great boxing defense, and I think he'll just beat him on points. But um, it's going to be hard to finish that Taporia because he's actually got a better ground game than Volk. As tough as Oak, maybe you could say, Ilya Taporia. He's, he's tough as Oak. <laughs> he ain't no joke. Perfect. We'll end it there, Bryce. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Good All luck right. on Saturday. Thank you, Mark.